Hi everyone, this is Alan Rosinski of Metro Manhattan Office Space. Good afternoon and happy 2021. If you're a commercial tenant this year, you are now in the driver's seat. This is a tenant's market. In 2020, it was a landlord's market and it had been for many years. In fact, since the commercial real estate market started strengthening in 2010 after the financial crisis. So this is something that can very much work to your advantage if you're leasing commercial space. Doesn't necessarily uh, only apply if you're seeking to relocate or move. You can use this as an opportunity to renegotiate your existing space, perhaps contract in the building, have your uh, broker negotiate on your behalf for a smaller space in your building, maybe relocate within your property, maybe negotiate a reduced rent with your landlord or in the context of a lease extension. This can really work in the favor of your business at the moment. But I'd like to kind of just highlight how different conditions are from 2020, how much things have changed. One year ago, there was a scarcity of certain types of space, small units, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 square feet, and vacancy rates were much lower. And if the space was priced reasonably or it was a decent space set up in an efficient, architecturally appealing manner in a well-maintained building, often there would be multiple offers and the landlord would make a deal very close to or even at their asking rent. Now you have many desirable spaces which just linger on the market because of the uh, increased vacancy rates. If a year ago you negotiated a reduction in the asking rent on a space in New York City, your concessions might go out the window. You'd maybe get no free rent at all or reduced work. Now landlords are hungry and they want to rent their empty spaces. So you can get a reduction in rent and negotiate a build out of your space and you might even be able to get some free rent on a longer lease term. A year ago, if you submitted an offer on a space through your broker and the landlord perceived the offer is too low, you know what would happen? That offer would sit in your landlord's draw, unresponded to, unanswered. Now that landlords are hungrier, if you submit an offer on a property, in most likelihood, they will respond so you can be a lot more aggressive than you were a year ago in the negotiation process for commercial space. Now this applies all over the country, maybe a little bit more in New York City because New York City has been hit hard by the pandemic, but most anywhere. A year ago, if you were a small company, let's say you were a startup, or you were leaving a co-working space looking for your first demise space, 500 to 1,000 square feet, there were very few options. I mean, I get calls all the time for small tenants, do searches for them, and there was nothing available in their price range or their geography. If you're a small company looking for space, it's a good time to do it now because there's a lot of options out there and they are at a lower price point than they were in 2020. Now, as for rents, I would say that they're probably down overall about 25% from 2020. Now, um, you have certain landlords which haven't officially reduced their pricing from before the pandemic. You have certain landlords which have dropped their pricing. And obviously, the negotiability is less on landlords which have already adjusted their pricing. But again, it's a great time for tenants to look for space. Another thing which has changed is landlords a year ago and before were very selective regarding use. They were kind of picky. If you had a high traffic use, let's say you were a physician or a therapist or a personal trainer looking for a physical fitness facility or a yoga studio, it would be very, very difficult to find a landlord who would welcome you. But guess what? One year later, with much higher vacancy rates, landlords have gotten a lot easier regarding use. Now, of course, if you're looking for a retail space now, you're going to get a bargain compared to what you would have a year ago. But I mean, retail market is different than the office market. That has just been really clobbered by what's going on, and it's going to change. You may have, in my opinion, you'll have more in the way of office uses Certain in certain neighborhoods like Fifth Avenue. You'll have, of course, um, high-end luxury retailers who will remain because that can't be migrated online. But, I mean, there's real value in retail now, but nobody really knows which way the retail market is, is 
going to go. In terms of office, in my opinion, it will eventually recover. It'll recover because people will go back to the office. And I mean, there's another reason in New York uh, City, I happen to believe that many of the vacant office buildings will eventually be converted to residential use. So that'll pull supply out of the market and there'll be increased demand over time as people return to the office. In terms of the real estate brokerage industry, world of difference between 20 and 21. In early 20, a lot of action regarding tenants looking for space. A lot of brokers were running around with their clients looking for space. Now this year, there's more comparatively activity representing tenants who are renegotiating with their existing landlords. They may be negotiating for a lower rent. They may be negotiating for a rent abatement because they're having difficulty making their payments. They may be negotiating with the landlord for a smaller space or certain long-term tenants who have been doing well for an expansion space. So many tenant rep brokers have shifted their focus to representing tenants in renegotiating the terms of their lease with commercial landlords. Hope you find this information interesting and I hope at least it can help somebody, a, a business business owner who is watching this video to address the real estate aspect of their business. If you found this content interesting or helpful, I'd be happy if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can always find me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is at Metro Manhattan. Until the next time.